What we have here today is the impact of C ISA 500. The ISA 500 is sitting in a small test tank of water. And it's sitting pointing at the end wall of the tank, which is exactly 25 centimetres away from the front face of the altimeter. You can see that replicated here on the screen. The altimeter is updating twice a second. And it's giving us a reading of 0 0.25 metres, so 25 centimetres. Also getting a reading of the, the temperature, heading pitch, roll, and also a little graphic just to show you how the altimeter is sitting at any one time. On the screen we've also got the updating graph. Uh, as the altimeter is not moving just now, the graph is very flat and steady. Uh, if I was to put something in front of the altimeter, it will change its range reading. Uh, you'll quickly see the graph update. Let's move this ruler towards the altimeter. You can see the altitude decrease, hold it steady. Uh, the altitude will level off and if I move it away from the altimeter, the altitude increases again. Until I get to the back wall of uh, 25 centimeters away, and then it's sitting there at 25 centimeters again. And the purpose of this video is not to show you the basic functionality of the altimeter, but to show you the multi echo output capability of the ISA 500. Now, in the CVU software, you can view the multi echoes that the altimeter receives. Now, when I say multi echo, it's when the altimeter sends out a ping. It uh, listens to what comes back, and sometimes it'll get more than one echo back. It might get an echo off of the seafloor, an echo off of a fish, or any other object in the, in, the, in the water column. Now to view this, you simply click on this grey line here, and drag it up. And you'll be presented with a new graph, the multi-echo graph. And what we're seeing here just now is uh, the return from one echo. And if you look at the scale on the bottom, it's sitting at 25 centimetres. So that's the echo off the back of the tank. Now if we put some other object in the water, such as a ruler, and all I'll do is I'll turn it on its side so we get a ping off the front of the ruler, and we should also still get a ping off the back of the tank. Now if I drop that into the water, instantly you can see we've now got two echoes, one showing up at around about 12 centimetres, and another one sitting steady at 25 centimetres. That's the back of the tank, and this is the ruler here as I kind of wave us around in front of the altimeter. If I take the ruler out again, we'll go back to having just a single echo, because now there's nothing between the, the end wall and the altimeter face. Now this, uh, we're showing a multi-echo here, but we can also output the multi-echo as an ASCII string. So you can get a, a range reading for every single echo here is coming back. You can also get a, a correlation factor, which is a quality factor for the reading for every single one of the readings that you see coming back. Now we can also output the amplitude of each reading, so you have an idea of which readings were a very small amplitude and which were very large.